started school right after I got back from serving in the Army. I had a hard time deciding what exactly to pursue or what to stop pursuing. I felt a lot of shame about being a single parent on welfare. The self-sufficiency program mission is simply to prepare low-income single adults for success in college. From the get-go, I never felt like I was part of the main traditional student body. Um, having been in the Army and having lived and traveled abroad also brought a whole different perspective. And then, along with that, being a single parent. Out of high school, I um, took a few college courses, didn't really have a lot of direction. Um, I was mostly working and became a single parent when I was 21. The SSP program was designed with single parents in mind, primarily. However, we're open to anyone who is interested in furthering their education and who has not yet received a four-year degree. The SSP program was a big part of kind of getting back into my education and kind of directing me where to start again. As a single parent, one of the things I always felt like it would be so great if I could just put Adrian on hold for like five years till I got through school, you know, et cetera. And that wasn't a possibility I, and I knew it. I was so excited that she was home. I had so much to share with her. Mom, mom, mom. You know, she had a lot that she was carrying. And, you know, me being excited to uh, share whatever it was I wanted to share, it was another thing that was probably hard. One of the worst things, as you may know, is, you know, when things get tough in a semester, dropping and running and assuming nobody's there to help. I had actually started at, at UWL out of high school and then ended up not doing very well and kind of restarting. Even if you might not feel that you have the support that you need, the program can help you find that support. We work very hard to demystify the processes of application, financial aid, what are student services offered within institutions to help people be successful. I remember we had a, um, a conference or a workshop. Um, we had a speaker kind of come and she was asking me what I wanted to do and I said, well, maybe something in the you know, nursing field or something in the medical field, I'm not sure what. And she said, well, wh why, why wouldn't you want to be a doctor or something to that effect? I was like, well, I don't know why. <laughs> I think I might want to do that. It's much more of an orientation um, and an encouragement for folks to say, yes, I have a right to an education. And then what follows from that is some real practical information about what are programs and schools and what kind of degrees and certificates and all those things that are offered within various higher ed institutions. I can uh, tell in the in the Mother's Day cards and things that he's given me over the years that it really had an impact on him, my educational pursuits, and what he saw me doing. To my mom, well, obviously, uh, thank you. Um, I feel like she had such a such a burden to carry. Hopefully, she knows how much it means to me that she was so there for me. Nowadays. College is so much more expensive, and some of that funding isn't available, and so many people end up having to take out really big loans. I raise money to support scholarships to support the first four semesters back at school for anyone who completes the SSP program. 30 years later, so many people have contributed and so many people have been helped and that the program is continuing to grow as we're looking at, are we meeting your needs? And if not, how, what can we do to adjust the program? And I love that about this program. The whole program just gave me this kind of thought that now that I'm in it, I know I can do it and I know I can graduate and the sky's the limit.